People come to Moab because it may be one of the most spectacular scenic locations on the planet. People have been attracted to Moab in this area literally for thousands of years. The, the archaeological evidence here is rich. It goes back several thousand years. And the evidence for people's living here is the imagery that's placed on the rocks. We have Ute in the area, we have Navajo who, or Diné people, we have Hopi people, Pueblo people, Apache, Paiute, Shoshone nearby, and all of them feel a strong tie to these ancestral sites that are on the landscape. The significance of these rock art images, these petroglyphs to the Native Americans is, this is their history. These petroglyphs tell stories, origins, and emergence. The significance of the petroglyphs and the, the rock imagery for the native peoples is that these are our ancestors that are teaching us. So when we go, we go to a sacred site, there, there's a presence of antiquity. There has been some incidents where some of these areas have been badly vandalized. You know, people drawing their names on there that's like modern and you know, it just erases a whole lineage of history. It erases cultural identities to that land, to us indigenous people, you know, that's very important. Some people just want to just write their name on it and then they just don't really think about it or they're not like educated enough on how disrespectful and how old some of these petroglyphs are. So once you carve your name on a rock, it could potentially be there forever because you could be doing something that really impacts these sites for the rest of time. And when I find damage to it, I find it as if somebody has taken a page of history and destroyed it. People aren't aware that defacing or vandalizing for archaeological sites, there's severe penalties associated with committing vandalism. It's a felony assault. Defacing an archaeological site is a $250,000 fine. A lot of the cultural sites in the Moab area are located on land managed by the Bureau of Land Management. It's a federal agency that is responsible for taking care of that land. So when a site has graffiti or has been damaged, uh, it's their responsibility to take care of that and repair the damage. Birthing Rock is a unique and special set of panels. The Birthing Rock is special because it should resonate with every human being. It actually shows the depiction of somebody giving birth. Birthing Rock, from my perspective, reminds me of life. You have a mother giving birth to a child, and then when you look at the petroglyph, you can also see little footprints and baby steps. It reminds you that our ancestors lived here, that they laughed here, that their fireplace was here, that they ate here, that life of our ancestors was present here. This past few days it has grew a lot of like nationwide attention because it was vandalized and it was intentional. The message that was uh, put on that panel was just, it read white power. Seeing that white power scratched on a Native American ancestral sacred site, I, I, I'm trying to, to quell the outrage of that. It would be somebody going in and spray painting the interior of the Sistine Chapel. The beauty of our environment and what we have, we need to do all we can to preserve that for future generations, for the next thousands of years. These are sites visited by hundreds and thousands of people each year. And so if each person were to add one mark, well, the, the site would be lost in, in a very short amount of time. We need to work harder, those of us who are in the tourist trade in the region to educate our guests about how special this place is. Protecting the beauty of our land goes back into the Nefos philosophy of Hojo, which means beauty. We say that we walk in beauty. To walk in beauty, you also have to walk on the foundation that you're walking on, the earth. So then if you give that earth that love infection of taking care of her, then she'll take care of you. Ultimately, we have to keep this land beautiful, pristine, so that people after us, the next generation of all beings, could also live in this happiness that we are living in now.